Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 17 and 18 of season 2 of Beastars. Okay, because, um, here's the situation on this show. Because <laughs> a lot of people from, I think, because today is Saturday, um, between, not really yesterday, but more of, I think, Thursday it was, um, kind of asked me, like, where the heck were my reactions, um, for the last two episodes. I, like, Oh, God, I got hella busy between last week and this week. And I also forgot about this because uh, girl was fucking busy and ish. And I remembered, I think, like Monday, Tuesday. And I was like, well, OK, since I forgot it, I was like, let me go ahead and do it this week and such. Then being busy this whole freaking week and doing other things and helping my mom with some such and then getting calls and talking to people because people friends one of my advice and some things and I was like okay I gotta get this shit done and I told everybody I was like yeah I'm gonna have it out this weekend because I wanted to do it and sit down this weekend because since Saturday I only had like technically two shows but really one and then the other one doesn't come out until later on tonight and I was like I have loads of time to get this itch done but yeah I mean apparently because everybody from the two people that I talked to Apparently something's happening in these two episodes. I don't know what the heck could anything could possibly fucking happen. But it, it, honestly, when I saw the tweet, the uh, comments, I was really excited. So, other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode seventeen in three, two, one, go. No one's gonna die, are they? <laughs> oh God, can you imagine if somebody died today? Oh, like. <laughs> No, I mean, because the last time we saw Legacy, he was talking to the panda dude. And then, um, Luis went to the strip club, <laughs> uh, talked to the deer, and, um, came back home with, you know, his crew, and ate the meat in front of him, and went back into his room and threw it up. And one of them was trying to give him, um grass because he's a herbivore not an omnivore he doesn't eat me and so i know how you feel because you know officially as of today i'm five weeks as a plant eater and a plant eater only even though i still eat meat but only plant-based meat and i haven't had an actual like burger or actual meat or actual chicken in five weeks and it feels weird it's freaking crazy but it's weird Hopefully Haru gets, like, something between these two episodes. Because I just felt like she's she's been placed in the back. And I hate that. And I'm like, I want to see her more. White is so white and monochrome. Oh, okay. There we go. I was like, I mean, really, it's none of your business to ask him. No, even if you try to drag him back, he's not going to want to come. I know. How did you? I know, but this is like his important monologue, so you know he has to be in the rain.
<laughs> well, it's complicated. And besides, I don't think he wants to be the next B star anymore. So, I mean, do you know you were wanting it? It's true, though. It's complicated, right? <laughs> Like, I don't think he's become corrupted, but I, just now he sees the world differently. It's almost like any other, you know, regular kid when they're stuck in school. And then when you're an adult and you go on to college and you see what the world is like. Yeah, I don't think you want that. Mm. Oh, God, don't make me ship them. Please, no, no, no. Oh. Damn it, you're making me do it. Because <laughs> now it, it's just so weird because... In season one, he was this princely character, princely, like, Prince Yuki, Fruits Basket, and now he's become a bad boy. And I, I can't, like, uh, uh. That was nice. It's you. Mm -hmm. Which is right. But in a way it's also society as well. And he's with Panda. You know, he, he currently, you know, into his um BDSM the last time we saw him. <laughs> Same. Hmm? It's legacy? It's legacy, isn't it? Oh. 
Okay, l let me see you. Your eyes so black from the when you got your ass beat? Uh-uh. Did he look different? Like, how different? Oh! Your hair. You look good, though. Different. You just look like a new a, a puppy that just got his hair cut. You look good. You look more like a puppy. Whoa! Oh, so that's what the BDSM was. <laughs> Cause of course, to conceal his identity so that his um potential killer, whoever was kicking his ass that night, doesn't know that he's still here. Because if he was, he looks good, honestly. Y'all about to make me simp for this man all over again. God damn it. You're not doing it. No. No. I'm not falling for him again. You still have to play a role in this. Exactly. And because you've changed, my bad. Um, you've changed. Your attacker possibly won't find you. Yeah, they'll smell you out, but... <laughs> but dead eyes he looks good he just and I feel like now he's gonna have this like new attitude Is that a bear? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that had to be panda. Only three? I mean, because how long has he been gone, though? That's really cool. Because you hungry, you want that meat, but don't no, resist it. <laughs> mhm, mm he's right. Jesus, dude, you're back. <laughs> yeah.
I'm training during the night. You have to resist it. Yeah, you're right. Mm-hmm. Ah, Pina! You're so cute! Honestly, really, he looks more like he's gaining muscle than losing weight. But... It's him. Are you wearing perfume? Yeah, I was wondering about that. It's complicated. <laughs> Let's just say Haru and Legacy are, well, they're not friends with benefits. More of on again, off again, but they don't really have a status. <laughs> I mean, because you have to stay mysterious with him. Well, because you're supposed to stick with one person. It's not, you know, two or three. Hell, it's not even sister wives. That's bad. No, don't, please don't do that. But if it was a boy? Resist.
<laughs> Go get your plant base, baby. <laughs> You really think your father's just going to sign it off like that? Really? Hmm. Yeah, and now look at you. So you still barely, well, no, you guys probably have a really good relationship, but not as much as you did. But do you think that's a really good career choice? Or what, you're going to kill him? You really think you can kill your... Father. <laughs> Mother f fuck. Are, are you serious? I mean, you know what it would have been really nice if he just like that sugar and then it would have ended and then you know next week in 18 we go into a completely different moment and then in 19 we go back to uh, <laughs> but I don't think he's really going to kill him if he really loves this his father as much as I think he does and cares for him yes I think his father figure will sign the papers and then he'll just let him go and be on his merry way possibly i don't know but going back to my boy legacy you look good oh my god like i can't but still you are not making me simp over this character again no i'm sorry like i'm, I'm not doing it again mm -mm. no 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 but he is adorable he looks even more adorable. he just looks like a puppy like oh my god you just want to cut it like you're really cute Oh my god, hi baby boy, huh? But yeah, I mean, I get the reason of why he's doing it. Not only to adapt to his new surroundings and such, but the situation of the person who literally kicked his ass in the previous episode, so. Anything could happen. I don't know. But, uh, okay, so I do love the fact that, you know, Haru was kind of in this episode, but really more as a thought bubble for Legacy. But I still want her to be more um, in the show because she was a main character in season one. And now, in my opinion, because we're in this arc between Legacy, you know, doing an investigation about Tem and finally possibly finding out who the fuck killed him um the situation with louise and him and a gang and then everything else around that juno school everything else of course i felt like haru's not going to get that big 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 screen time that she got um in season one and i'm a little because i didn't say this the in the first episode of season two but i'm gonna say it now i'm a little pissed about that because haru to to see it in the roles of three different types of animals especially two different sex a man and two uh no uh a woman and two men and then you know especially a rabbit 
um, a deer and a freaking wolf. And now we're going from a rabbit not even having the most screen time to the point that, you know, a deer and a wolf are. And, and it's really just about their current situations and their struggles and everything. But still. Also, seeing Juno um, in, like, the first half and her and Louise talking was very interesting. Yeah, you got me to ship two people only by a dance scene. I really am trash, am I? I mean, you know, I was trash ever since I fell in love with a man with a gun for a head. <laughs> Honestly. But, I, I mean, yeah, they those two really do look good together. There, there's not a couple or, like, friends or whoever in this series where you look at them and what, even if it's a man and a woman or if it's the same sex and stuff because Peanut, he, he seems very, like, um... He possibly go both ways, even though he has a girlfriend. But you know what? That's okay. Whatever floats your boat. Because, um, yeah, I mean, he honestly looks good with Legacy. But who knows what the hell is going to happen. I just We got to see the next episode and find out. But honestly, I really want to know um, what Louise's father is going to do. And if he's going to sign it. And if not, what if he does or if he doesn't, I feel like. Louise will never talk to his father again. I mean, as he said, it's been so many years since he bought him off and, you know, gave him a better life than the life that he was possibly going to have. He could have died right then and there. But now because he's older and he's finally, you know, rebelling and everything, who knows what the hell he's going to be capable of. I mean, yes, Louise, he's made his first kill. And usually from what I've seen in... TV shows and movies and some video games that I have playing where, you know, someone has made that first kill. I really thought it would, like, traumatize him. But honestly, it really, it, like, when we had the episode that focused on him, it kind of did. But I feel like once we get into maybe when he makes his second kill or when it's someone who is really, truly important to him. Like, I'm not saying that he's going to kill Haru or, you know, uh, Legacy. Please, Louise, don't do that shit. Or if he possibly kills his father, I think that's where it's going to be something that's going to possibly break him. But who knows what the hell could happen next. But... Go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode 7. I'm about to say 17. Episode 18. My bad. <laughs> okay, episode 18 in 3, 2, 1, go. Excuse me. How are you making an appearance tonight, please? <laughs> I'm just saying. And the opening does not count. A thought bubble? Yeah, that kind of counts, but not really. Please don't shoot him. You probably don't even have bullets in there. Try me. Oh. 
That's right. What is that going to do for you? Do you really, I mean, the biggest thing is, does he really want to have his father's uh, blood on his hands, you know? But thank God he didn't go through with it. So you still a stripper or um Yeah, something still tell me she's still stripping. I mean hey how you get your money mm -hmm. good ain't it mm-hmm I mean, you could have one of your uh, members come here secretly for you to get something. Mm. Yeah. But then what about you? I mean, you could still run if you want to. But she still decides to stay, but... Unfortunately, yeah, because you don't really have anywhere else to go. Yeah. You do also have, like, their, not their way, but, like, just everything that he pushed on the legacy. I mean, because we know he's a big guy. Oh, don't worry, because she's been waiting for this.
God. <laughs> okay. Are your fangs bigger? Oh, poor baby. <laughs> Bye. Uh huh. I know he led you on. I'm like, oh. Baby, <laughs> oh. only a week. You got like a taser or something for him just in case he attacks you? Is he more like sympathizing with it? No, you, you're just like the boy next door. Yeah. Yeah, and I think he's so into you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because you're older. I mean, that's what we at a younger age do. Hell, I still ask my mom for advice. Hmm. Where do you want to go? The beach? Are they gonna throw the meat in the what? Oh no, you gave it a burial. Oh. Oh, legacy. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Of course he can. No, probably not. Huh? <sighs> mm. 
Yeah, but you only really have during the day until you have to go to what's the state's train. Oh. <laughs> Is it him? Jealous. <laughs> yeah, you know, us as girls, we don't like that. We want you to spend time with us and hang out with us and talk to us. But at the same time, you're on your own in your own little world, and you just leave her behind. God, stop! <laughs> My heart, I can't. He's right. Huh? <laughs> I mean, yeah. the last one. I'm dying. Oh my god. It's too much. God, I forgot how much I hated Bill. Mm. 
Uh. Really tug of war with your mouth with your teeth? Because of the fact is you haven't eaten me. <laughs> because of the fact is you've been possibly eating nothing but plant based and not meet me. That could literally be anything. Flying painful feet. Sinful breeze. My bad. Okay. So, mm, happy that Haru finally made another appearance in this damn show. I mean, <laughs> but the fact that, you know, she is lonely just as much as any other girl is. Um, uh, when they're not around their significant other, whether it is a guy or a girl, whatever, whoever you're dating, you know, whatever floats your boat. Um, how even look is he just asking, you know, will you marry me? Like, huh? <laughs> like, now, like, but no, in the future, once they graduate and everything, and him talking about, you know, interspatial, um, species and everything is very similar to interracial couples and such, because, there are a lot of people, and it seems almost like the same thing in this world, who maybe don't accept species coming together and such. And that's the same thing that's currently happening in the world today. Even though um, interracial couples are a norm and such, there are still like a small amount of a group that don't like it when other race, you know, intertwine and make a baby a beautiful pretty babies and stuff like that but it's sad and i hate the world the fact that the world is still like that even in 2021 but it's very much real and it's just like wow are you fucking kidding me 
but oh okay the fact is yes your your jaw isn't as strong legacy and it has to be with what you're doing with your training and everything um it doesn't mean in my opinion that you're weak you are still very much a strong person but oh, excuse me sorry um Maybe you should, yeah, go check on your jaw to see how much that thing is. I think probably like 260, 70, 50. It, probably low, not 295, 94 anymore. But I'm guessing if he goes to to a resident panda, maybe that might help him in what he possibly needs to do. But it it has to do with the fact is maybe he's gone from strictly eating meat and looking at um herbivores and stuff and wanting to protect them instead of eating them and now going into a completely different um I wouldn't say lifestyle change but just still a diet where he is eating nothing but plant-based type things like myself um but I, I mean you know in this world hey you never know you could probably find a veggie burger somewhere and Go chow down on that or um, a plant-based burger, which is really good. I mean, if I had to choose between a veggie burger or a plant-based, I'd choose plant-based because that shit is oh, Because it tastes like actual meat. And it's, but yeah, it's so fucking good. But I, I don't know. I mean, it could literally be anything. Because I was ready to see Legacy beat the shit out of Bill. But no, I'm guessing... It wasn't meant to happen, but honestly, I, pff, I I got nothing of what the fuck could happen next. I mean, anything could really happen. I am still happy that, you know, I, I think kind of by the time we finish season one of the situation with Haru and Haru kind of like sleeping around with people and everything, um, I kind of assumed by the end of season one she was kind of done, and I'm glad that they were finally able to bring that in for this episode for her because, as I said at the beginning, um, in the last episode how Haru is not really in this show but she is but she has like a couple of moments and such I, I'm glad that they were like okay hey here's that one thing that probably all of us have been wondering is she still sleeping around with other guys or is she kind of a one woman type of girl I mean a one man type of girl where she just is one with with one person and one person only and she really honestly told that to that dude even though, yeah, he was pissed off because he thought he was going to get something tonight. But no, unfortunately. I mean, hell, you could go to that strip club with the girl. And th that's another thing I want to talk about. The girl from the strip club. The gazelle, I believe she is. Um, I, I do feel bad for her. Especially with what happened the first time we saw her. And I immediately thought that, you know, the next time that these two um, possibly saw each other is that she would have been like a... Hey, this is kind of a that turning point of you saving me and me almost getting eaten. That was a turning point for me. So I'm going to um, leave this place and start a life, a, a better life for me. But the fact is that one and she she said it in a really good way that I have to honestly agree about. Once you get into this world and where Louise is, like after that, you can kind of never go back you have to stay you almost you're there for like the rest of your life or until you die and she in a way she feels home and such i mean it's just how like when other people feel like have those feelings and everything but i think there's still a chance not only for her but also louise as a character to get out if they really truly want it but i think the same thing with louise i think he's found somewhere where he truly belongs because i think if his father did not save him, that's where he would have been. He would have been there for the rest of his life or up until he died. Who knows? But oh, both of these episodes are good. And I literally cannot wait to see what the fuck could happen next. I mean, anything. And I mean anything could freaking happen next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view to episode 17 and 18 of season 2 of Stars. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all, I believe, either next Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday for episode 19. I don't know, but whenever it comes out. Um, and when it's subbed on Yon, that's what I'll know. Once again, I am so sorry that this is like two weeks late ish hopefully this is not happening again but between my anime list telling me and then me checking like constantly every single day until the episode comes out that is when i will be back on my like 
Egan for the show. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.